Hi, welcome back. We have here this um, open box um, desktop we're looking at and with right mouse click we get our icons, we get our pipe menus and it's actually a program that's been run and that's why it takes this long and now everything is loaded again. The advantage of this pipe menu is when you install new stuff like in the previous tutorial and you install lots of software then it's going to add automatically every item to a specific category so you'll have everything here available like cheap part of the stuff like that now we're going to look at something else we do know that that the installation of antergos is pretty um, com complete but like always you can always figure out things i miss this or i miss that and that's why we have this personal folder here and we have this 410 script so we should check that out first i'm gonna make the personal one first doing like that arcalora has been copied in the meantime you did not see me do it but i did it already that's why um, i have this or this red arc theme now available here so all of this it's a theme so you can Control C everything and copy paste it to a hidden folder which is, should be called themes Control V and then it's all in here and you can select it with your uh, program your theme selector or themer normally called appearance but here it's someone something different here we have to go to where is it again the GUI graphic tool might be a good one but mm, that's not the case here so let's take another place another look is da, 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 references this one customized look and feel that's the one where we can have the overview of all these elements these things here or these things there so that's okay we know where it is now customized look and feel and now we're gonna check back here so that's that and all these scripts are actually copy pasting stuff over to my regular hard disk so to my folders here so let's go over one by one and run them as well so oh yeah, we can't put it here not yet we don't have any shortcut yet we have to fix that also so tools open current f4 and what can we run 600 is install personal settings folder version 1 mm -hmm. what's this it's going to install all kinds of folders so just folders empty folders without anything if there are no folders I cannot copy my personal files to it so that's why we have this script here so you won't see anything sorry let's not do that cancel and click here enter Voila, that's done, 600. Then 602, install personal settings folder. So what's this? These are things that are specific to Openbox. Um, at least one of them will be created. This does not exist, the program has not been installed yet. So the folder is, does not exist. So it's going to be created now. What else? 603 is specific for me, but I believe more people will have this issue as well. From QWERTY to AZERTY. But not only that, it's also my layout for my PC. I need my numeric keyboard to be active. So it's now active and if you want to really be sure but let's wait and see what happens you can put this one in the start for open box but let's see if it remembers then we have 605 the personal settings and we open it it's the bookmarks these things here on the side 
I want to keep the same bookmarks everywhere so I don't have to look around too long I know where everything is so there it is here you have all my information and we'll add some more for open box later on 610 is the personal settings keyboard shortcuts it's not necessary to have it not applicable here shortcuts are in the open box file this one is screenshot you can apply it since gnome screenshot is available and if it's available then it will be taking pictures in gpg if it's not too available it doesn't matter it's set anyway to be gpg 620 that's not gonna work Control c 620 is going to copy paste scripts for shadow and so on to the GIMP folder 625 is the sublime text personal settings 6.30 is variety personal settings 635 these are the themes so voila they're being copied again so it's fine 640 personal settings for the plank this will change some things yes indeed let's get rid of some of the things I do not like anymore I tested those out so as you can see plank is a little bit bigger preferences let's make the alignment is okay it's the size I wanted to change something like that okay so now we have a bigger dock my personal settings have been copied 645 not available let's check uh, yes it's available 645 what's this don't recall let's have a look open uh -huh. so these are the settings I do not want to do this but these are the settings for the fonts for the themes and if you want to restart with the same fonts and the same um, icons and so on then you can copy paste them but I believe there is something interesting in there if I recall correctly that we should talk about themes settings any it's this kind of tip that I saw the GTK toolbar icon size GTK icon size small toolbar it's a code that it gives and probably will change the look of these icons if I recall correctly so maybe we should do it and well we'll get then the Sardi Mononumix Colora icons and the Nutty Sans Nuttle Sans 12 and with the breeze snow and so on so maybe yeah we should do it so 645 install personal settings themes everything is copied now copy pasting it to GTK 3.0 and it's a question probably of restalling restarting open convox nope not yet so i wonder if when it will kick in let's try and log off otherwise there's something wrong with the scripts i should check it okay the settings have been applied so there's nothing wrong with the script just take some time it's a nice eagle gonna oh i want to quit this thing here quit don't want to see this anymore so there's an update available we have to click it otherwise it stays red okay install it and now we don't see it anymore it's white oh let the eagle be we have nemo in the meantime next to file manager pc mount fm we have nemo as well so we can get uh, our extra little icons we so love and like so i have also my icon here to open a terminal the only thing we should check out is whether we want a gnome terminal that's transparent because this one is not transparent profile preferences colors nope it's not so we should install that as well 
but we were busy doing all these personal settings so everything has been done almost done so this one I don't believe we did anything here no nope. all hashtags so no copy pasting here this one we can run let's move them a bit out of the way point slash 700 ow no nope. as you see my my keyboard is not working my numeric keyboard so that solves one question don't do it Eric don't go to the number block don't do it <laughs> now it works okay so it's the just case of numeric lock not being on I think let's wait so that's been done as well and last but not least these are the most complicated ones do I want them well, it's going to copy paste the configuration files from last time. So that installation of last time is going, going to really overwrite it. Maybe I don't want that as of now yet. And this is something I have to explain later. It's the generator for the menus. Rather than making it manually, you have to, you can make them as well um, automatically with a generator. That sounds better. Okay. Let's uh, stop the tutorial here. So the personal things have been installed and we can go ahead.